Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a one of the mini books that I've made using an um not an envelope type page, but more of a one sheet page type of mini album. I don't know how really how to explain it other than that, but it's something that I've done in the past, but I gave the album away before I was even on YouTube. So um, I recreated another one, but using a different paper and I wanted to share it with you. I did see somebody else make this style like many years ago. And unfortunately, I really do not know who did this or if it was somebody's original idea, but I, I do want to share it with you today because it was really fun and I, I enjoyed making it. And so I want to share it. Um, the, the type of paper I'm using is the primrose paper from die cut with view. And if I get the full entire name, um, I'll put it down below so you'll know what it is. It's, it's not one of their newer lines. It's basically, I think one of their ones that's kind of a couple years old, but the paper is gorgeous. It's beautiful. And, um, I really enjoyed using it. And in fact, if you recognize it, I made a mini album out of a Girl Scout cookie box and it's on one of my other videos, but it used the same paper. So, so I did not put a lot of adornments on the front or enhancements or embellishments because I loved the glitter and the simple simpleness of the front of this book. And it's just got, it says, I love you. It's perfect for pictures. The sides, I have the Tim Holtz mini rings and it this I like using the mini rings more than anything else because it keeps everything nice and tight but I think that I may have to go to a bigger ring just because once I put pictures in it's going to be really tight um, or even stuffed more and you can see it sits like this so um, the ribbon is one of my favorites it's from Dollar Tree and a dollar. I've used it for so many projects already. And then the back is just um, a plain piece of the paper. It has that vintagey look to it that I love. So let's dig into the, the meat of this album. And I'm just going to open the first page. And it's, I put a little pocket on the front with a photo mat that a picture can go on. And then one of the cut aparts from the pay, from the paper pack. And on this side is what begins the envelope slash one page, one sheet per page type of page, page, I guess. Um, so this in this piece right here is one entire piece of scrapbook paper, 12 by 12. And you cut it and fold it to where it makes a pocket on this side and it makes a pocket on this side like there and then when you glue the sides the bottom and the sides together let me get that back in there it also creates a pocket on the top so each page at a minimum can hold three pictures well actually yeah you put three here one on the front one on the back and then one on the front of here and then one on the front one on the back and then one on the back of here so each page will hold three on each side, which is six. And then I just cut, use little cut aparts to decorate the, the um, fronts of the album. And most of them are covering the crease, but the crease really isn't that bad. I think if you use the right kind of paper, it just looks really, you know, like a folded piece of paper. I love it. So the next, and this page is has the little bird here and you know this vintagey pink color it's just beautiful this page is made from the blue and cream ledger style paper that has the pink roses on it and i put this kind of i guess this is kind of like an argyle print but it reminds me of like a court jester and then this is the piece that pulls out 
and I'm I don't know if I'm gonna put tabs on these I could go back and add tabs to my pull-out parts but I wasn't sure I wanted to do that so I'll leave it like it is and then I put one of the cut aparts here and these are really great places for journaling this is the back side the back of these are are just plain black but I could put a photo mat there if I wanted and then this one comes out and these are matted on both sides so I guess I could show the side of this side and it's just like that this one has that plain brown print and then on the back of this one I have the music notes so it's like mint with music they slide nice in and out nice and easily so the next page we're gonna flip over another little place for journaling here and then I have like a nice little decorative piece and it looks like a calendar it's just really pretty and I backed up I backed all these little pieces on black cardstock the front or the top has like a tossed pink floral print and this pocket I love this pattern and I just rounded the corners oh here's the back I just rounded the corners but I actually could do an even more intricate pattern like if I used a Fiskars corner pattern or something like that I think it would be pretty this side has the postcards on the back and like a ledger on the side and then what I did for these two pages is this was one piece so I cut it in half and then I matted it on these three sides so that it looks like it's one piece on this side we have this nice pretty pink and green pattern and the mat is very similar to one we've seen before and then the front has this little pattern on it it's really pretty I just love this paper I think it's gorgeous and I do think it's still available I think Michaels has it I believe another place for journaling here and this pull-out sheet has a place for like notes or a picture so this is this pull-out card and there's I put this is two different pieces I stacked them together and then this is the photo mat on top this page is just beautiful it's like the other half of this one that has the pink and the glitter another place for journaling little notes and then this is this is one of my favorites and then we get to the last page and you can make as many of these pages as you like um, I did six so it takes about 36 photos and then some on the back so I could probably fit probably 38 to 40 photos in here if I really tried and this one is a cut apart that I kept here and this is the pull up card and the back the front is the pink color with the vintage markings and then the back of this sheet is that pattern that has like this lace and this is glittery and it has a texture to it to make it feel a little bit lace like lace and then this is the photo mat on this one and then on the back cover of the book I have another pocket the same size using this paper here which is beautiful it's one of my favorite patterns I have just a photo mat here and then I decorated it with some cut aparts and I can put um, ephemera in here if I go on a trip I can tuck little movie tickets or anything inside any of these pockets 
and I could add different things to the front of here. Um, nice journaling spot. So I really enjoyed making this book. It was really, really fun. If you would like to Let see me know, a demo, I'll put it in my rotation, so to speak. So this is my mini album and it's made from one 12 by 12 sheet makes each page. Anyway, thanks a lot guys for watching my videos. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.